Can you introduce yourself? My name is Jose. I am a senior at Pearl Amboy High School. Did you interact on social media back then and now? I would just you go on Facebook and then just watch videos and just leave. And now this time you just go on Facebook and you want to see what's going on around the world, what your friends are doing. How did the cyberbullying begin? I was just looking through my news feed, looking at my messages, and then a message popped up and I said, oh, I saw you in school today. I like the way you dress. You look like this and that. Did you have any insecurities before you were cyberbullied? Not really. I was I pretty like, like myself. I was like, oh, I'm doing this right. Can't wait to go to school and just talk to my friends and everything. Did the cyberbullying affect how others viewed you? When people start like, calling him out and pointing it out on what happened to me, what I looked like. How did the cyberbullying affect you? I felt so insecure about myself. I didn't, I didn't know what to do. You're hungry, you want to eat, but then you don't want to eat because you're like, oh, I'm overweight. I want to make better for myself. How is your relationship with your friends? I would describe them cool because they're always there for me when I need them. They're always like, oh, what's up? Like, you know, like some friends, they just don't even care about you and ignore you whenever. Did anybody notice the changes in you? With my friends now, they would just be cool with it, but before I would just be serious. And they would be like, yo, you gotta smile on this, what's wrong, you're everything around me. I'm fine, I'm good. Nothing wrong with me, and I would just not laugh and be serious all the time. How did you handle the experience of being a victim of cyberbullying? Well, in some ways, I handled it with violence, and then some ways it just inspired me to like, it just motivated me to do stuff like lose weight and start working out and everything. Made me feel better about myself and then went to school like nothing. Just happy about myself. What's your message to victims of cyberbullying? My message is that if anybody cyberbullies you, you should, you should really talk to somebody about it. Your parents, teacher, counselors, friends. Like don't keep it inside because if you keep it inside, it's going to really affect you sooner or later. If there was anything you could say to your cyberbully, what would it be? I would actually thank you for making me a better person I am today. I'd be like, oh, what you did was the past. Now you gotta keep moving forward and just do better. How has cyberbullying evolved? Social media is how we all communicate. Students communicate via texting. And therefore, bullying has transformed from face-to-face -face contact and bullying to online and doing it via text message and it's happening 24-7. What does the school do regarding cyberbullying? Unfortunately, cyberbullying is a real issue. Um, we work together, the school counseling team at Perth Amber High School and the school-based youth services, which is through the Jewish Renaissance. We work together to help both the cyberbullies and the victims. Overall, what do you believe is the reason behind why people cyberbully others? As far as cyberbullying, I think that students find that an easier way to bully because they're almost hidden behind their phones. You know, oftentimes the victim may or may not know who the cyberbully is.